Right guys, welcome back. Today we've got a uh, crunchy peanut butter and maple syrup. We've got um I prefer crunchy peanut because it's got bits of peanuts in and makes the texture better. And we've got Canadian maple syrup. Today we're gonna make some fudge. The fudge is vegan, dairy free, gluten free. If you don't like peanuts, if you're allergic to peanuts, it does also work with the uh, that new Biscoff spread which is also vegan or if you can find any other butter that is the same fat content uh, then you can use it the mix today is going to be 3 to 1 maple syrup to peanut butter so I'm going to use a few uh, 3 tablespoons of peanut butter and 15 tablespoons of maple syrup I put 20 because they're not proper sized tablespoons. On a high heat you want to bring it up to boil, you want to reduce it down and then uh, keep stirring it so it doesn't catch on the bottom. Now you can see it's gone thicker now. Keep stirring it. You want it to go back to this thickness of peanut butter. You can see there's no more liquid left inside. So I'm going to turn it off the heat and I've got a a loaf tin here. So yeah. Now I'm going to pour it into the loaf tin. Just going to spread it evenly. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge. So, like that. Into the fridge for five minutes. Right, so now uh, the peanut butter. Fudge is done. I want to tip it out. And then get a sharp knife and just going to cut them in sticks. Just like that. I've cut them into sticks. They are still a bit soft, so I'm going to leave them back in the fridge. Um, it will stiffen up, so I suggest you to cut them now. I've just pulled them out of the uh, the fridge, and uh, they are set perfectly. They're not too hard and not too soft. When you break it, you can see it's just stretchy, gooey, and the perfect consistency. I'm gonna. We're going to put the uh, recipe on Facebook, um, the name's under in the description, so please like and subscribe the video as well. And 
I will uh, see you next time. Thank you.